How's it going you to this Wi-Fi Mammy here today? Today I am bringing you guys a battle up against Black Mike Sierra. He's on the Discord. Uh, you guys also know him as... Uh, I guess that's Jonah? Anyway, Swampert, the Kabalion, Kiram. Very interesting, I didn't know. I guess that is a OU Pokemon. Um, Glamora, Wimsicott, and Blaziken. Very cool looking team. Um, looking at your team, potentially... I wouldn't mind getting some Stealth Rocks up. I don't necessarily know if you can get rid of Stealth Rocks. But um, I'm predicting the Glamora lead. And if that's the case, I guess I could lead the Rhyperia. Most likely though, those are Focus Sash. So if I can hit this thing with a Sub Striker, maybe with a Vote Switch or something, and then bring something like um, Superior in, and then we don't have to worry about those Toxic Spikes, that would be fantastic. The Superior does have Terra Ground. I don't necessarily know if that's what I want to do. I don't, uh, if, if he leads the Glamour, I don't necessarily know if that's the play I want to make. But it is, it's the strategy I'm going to go with anyway for right now. So we'll see what happens. Alright, so he is leading up a Mud, aka the Swampert. Okay, very cool. Unfortunately though for us, the Substraka can do absolutely nothing to this thing. I can't even vote switch. So it looks like he's getting himself a nice um, Stealth Rocks or a nice attack off or something right here. But we're going to switch on out go straight into the Superior. And let's see what we can do. Superior's in. As he gets those Stealth Rocks up. We don't have a uh, way to get rid of Stealth Rocks. So that, that can be problematic. I am predicting a switch though. So let's go ahead and set up a substitute here. As he is switching. So we should be able to get this nice and powerful substitute off. As he goes into Kiram. Okay, so Kiram... Really and truthfully, with the speed tiers and everything, Kiram's not that threatening. So I was thinking maybe if I try and lower his speed with uh, Glare, which still isn't a bad idea. Or should I go on the more offensive and hit this thing with a Leaf Storm? Well, I know I can. That's the problem. That's the problem I'm facing. Leaf Storm obviously won't be doing that much. I think Glare. Glare's fine. He's going to go ahead, heals with a freeze dry. He does outspeed Superior, which actually, you know what, maybe, maybe this thing is faster than what I remember it. But anyway, or it could be a Choice Scar set. Either way, we're getting our Glare off. This Glare is 100% accurate, 100% uh, chance of Paralyze. One of the few uh, 100 accuracy um, moves that do a status, and you know, that and Spore, I think everything else is... Uh, lower accuracy all right so we do know he showed us freeze dry don't necessarily want to be playing around with that with most of our team actually let's go into dust clops here dust clops is a special defensive wall on this team yeah most dust clops can be physically defensive this one's specially defensive hey i like it you know we do find out that he is choice scarf so him being fully paralyzed here is fantastic. <laughs> him being paralyzed in general is great. Let's go for that Nightshade as he is switching out. He is switching out. Fantastic. Get some nice little Nightshade damage onto something. And it's the Glamora. Okay. Fantastic. We can pop that air balloon all day. We can maybe go ahead and try and burn this thing too if we absolutely need to. Um... I have no problem doing that right now. Burn this thing. See what he wants to do. Probably gonna hit us with some type of special attack or something. Multiple spin. Does absolutely no damage, but I do believe that is 100% poison right there. So that it is what it is. We get the burn off. <clears throat> so yeah, we're uh... I hate to see Dust Clops all nice and poisoned up like that, but... Glamour is all nice and burnt, so it's not the end of the world, right? Hopefully not. Alright, so. Glamour is in. Um, expecting probably like a poison move or something. Let's just go into Rhyperia real quick. And see if we can go ahead and knock this thing out. Um, 
Nobody's committed any terrors yet, so he could easily just Terra and try to grass type on this Glamora, or just go for the super effective Earth Power, and Rhyperia does not like that at all. Um, yeah, there's no reason to keep Rhyperia around. Unfortunately, Sludge Wave coming out, over predicting just a tad bit there, so we are able to get our Stealth Rocks up. That's fantastic. I was gonna let Rhyperia fall. I was gonna let Rhyperia fall, but fantastic there. They're not going to overpredict this turn, so we can actually probably go into Gyarados here. We could probably go into Gyarados. Get Gyarados in for free. Because they're going to go for Earth Power. We could go Superior as well. But I think Gyarados might be a little bit better. Save the Rhyperior as a Death Flyer for later, especially since we have a good switch in for this right now. Go into the Gyarados. Watch him go for Sludge Wave here. That would be a big brain play, actually. That would be a good move. Nope. Earth Power. Fantastic. Glad to see that. And I want to say we can, what, take one? Uh, no. That's not even worth it, though. Let's just go for the Waterfall. Finish this thing off. Yep. Let, get that one layer of Toxic Spikes up. And which... These, these spikes and everything, it's a pain. It's, it is a pain. The hazards will become a bigger issue throughout this game, especially the Stealth Rocks. We got Flying type Gyarados, so he doesn't really get affected by the Toxic or the, um, blah, 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 blah. or the Spike. The Toxic Spikes is regular Spikes. He doesn't get affected by those. Where he does get affected by is those self rocks, which are very, very hard for him to deal with. Now we got Kiram in here. Now this Kiram is paralyzed. Um, I don't necessarily think we can do that much damage with the Gyarados. That's why I didn't fully decide to set him up yet. We can go into Gouging Fire, but that's a little risky. I think the best way is to go back into Clops here. That clops get the first poison, I guess, of the game rather than um actually no, uh, we only had someone get more mortal spin on. Let's see. Yep, we know we already know about the choice scarf. Free strike coming out, we'll take that like a champ. And Dust Club's not that bad. Dust Club's not too too bad as we can. Go ahead, go for that pain split. And we should be getting back a lot of health. We, we're gonna be sharing. Um, so this Garum's just taking a lot of damage all of a sudden. We're both sitting at 83 HP now. Minus now in poison. Which brought me down to 65. But that's that's fine. We know Garum's at 83. Honestly, yeah. Fully paralyzed again. We'll bring you down a little bit lower. Because, you know, we can't. And then we could start probably night shading. We'll probably be okay. 74 now. Yep. This time we will night shade. As he is fully paralyzed again. Wow. So Kira. Not really having a fun time against the dust clouds. I'll tell you that right now. As one more night shade will finish off the Kira. It does get a freeze dry off. Does it pick up a KO? It does not. So we are trading Dust Clops for Kiro, and honestly, I will be happy to take that trade off. A Box Legendary going down to a not fully evolved. Well, it should be Box Legendary. I will put that like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, technically, I guess it is a Box Legendary, but yeah, it goes down to Dust Clops, a not fully evolved Pokemon. Fantastic, right? All right, so we we can bring out the Gaijin Fire. We, I think Zep Strike is not too bad. I'm going to go Superior, though. I'm feeling the Superior. So let's go. As he goes into the Iron Crown. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, I'm about to go look. This is like a Metagross typing, right? It is Steel Psychic, if I'm not mistaken. And if that's the case, that's good. That's good for us. Yep. 
Wait, what, what was his boost in? Does it actually tell me now? No, it does not. Um, let's go for Glare. We do have speed. We get the nice and powerful Glare off. It's already super powerful. It already showed its potential with the other Pokemon, with the uh, Kiram. And now he's getting fully paralyzed here, which is fantastic. We can tear a ground and actually do some damage. I'm going to get one Leaf Storm off. If I can get the one Leaf Storm off, and I might decide to tear it. Because I want to have some special attack boost, right? Because I don't think we can knock him out with just one. Psy Shot coming out, and we go down. Yep, I'm glad I didn't commit my Terra there because we do have answers to this thing. But if Superior was about to start sweeping, I was going to let it sweep, basically. Uh, we can go into the Gouging Fire. We can go to Seb Striker here. I think Seb Striker is okay. Get more damage on this thing. Sub Striker is pretty interesting. I like Sub Striker. Um, we can go for the Overheat. That's what I was thinking. Going for a nice and powerful Overheat. We could go for a Thunderbolt for, to be more consistent. Our Terra is Ice. That's not going to do us much good. Let's just go for the Overheat. So Sub Striker getting the Overheat off. Not quite enough for a KO, unfortunately. One more can definitely knock it out though. As we're going to take a size shock and we go down. This thing is hitting like a truck. Good grief. Alright. We have, we are in that situation though where we can bring up, bring out the gouging fire. And we should be able to pick up this KO. Let's go for that nice and powerful earthquake as he's switching out. He's probably predicting the fire move though, so Mrs. Puff coming in. The Whimsicott. Ooh, so you weren't predicting no fire move, I'll tell you that right now. Okay, okay. Um, Whimsicott's Moon Blast is considered neutral. Um, I'm trying to think here. I mean, yeah, if we Terra, it's, it's not going to do any different. I do believe we can take it pretty decent. Let's, go, let's just go for the flare. Let's see what happens as we're getting encore Okay, okay. So yeah, we got encore into Earthquake. Okay, not, not too bad, not too bad. We can switch on out. We probably go into the Gyarados. Or right now, I think this is fine. Going to the Rhyperior, sacking it out to the Whimsicott is also fine. Expecting Moonblast, expecting Energy Ball. I, I'm just expecting my period to go down. Is what I'm expecting. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. This is fine. Giga Drain coming out. That's fine. Uh, Whimsicott doesn't recover that much HP. I think we're able to pick that off pretty easily. As long as he didn't get back to full, I think we're fine. I'm going to go into the Gouging Fire. Because we know he has... um. Encore, I can't lock my, I can't go into a uh, Dragon Dance mode, so I have to go just for a straight Flare Blitz here, which I think is plenty enough damage to pick up this KO. Plenty enough damage. So yeah, I mean, and two, I mean, what do you have to switch in on this? This thing is going to be hitting like a truck. This is a Gouging Fire. He's locking himself into this Flare Blitz right now. Iron Crown coming back in. Just to basically go down. Thank you for taking a little bit of stealth rocks. It helps that recoil damage out just a tad bit. As the Iron Crown does go down, which is fantastic to see. That kind of gets us closer to victory because we do know that the Whimsicott, other it being just like a tacky Pokemon, it really is not going to be picking up too many KOs from this point. Extra spicy coming out. Nice and shiny Blaze again. Um. Neither one of us has committed a Terra. I think I'm going to commit my Terra to Terra Ground. I'm going to go for a Dragon Dance. Predicting a Protect here. I'm predicting it's Protect from this Blaziken. Usually you see Blaziken and they want to go for that Protect. So they can get that turn 1 speed boost off. 
So I'm gonna go for my own Dragon Dance to kind of negate your speed boost. <clears throat> Hopefully. There's our Dragon Dance. We do have speed right here, so us getting a plus one in this attack into the speed also helps. Um, he did not. He went for Swords Dance. Okay, okay. Um, I'm a little bit afraid. I am a little bit afraid of this Blaze again. We do outspeed. Um, he could easily go for Protect. But I think we have to go for the Earthquake here. Yep. Yep, good play, good play. Predicting us to go for Dragon Dance, you go for the Swords Dance play. That's a fantastic play because now you're at plus two speed. We're, at, we're only at plus one. Uh, thing is, he's at plus two attack. He's got close combat probably for us. We could try and switch into Gyarados. The thing is, Gyarados is going to come in and take two attacks before he can do any damage. So I think we have to risk this Earthquake here. Okay, so... Blaziken has also decided to Terrasalize into a flying type. That's a bit unfortunate. That's a bit unfortunate. As he does outspeed us. Close combat knocks us out. Wow. So it's up to Gyarados. It is up to Gyarados right here, right now. Gyarados still isn't that bad of a mod to do this with. Because of the defense drop that he just had, he's going to get an Intimidate drop too, so he's only technically at plus one. Um, see, it depends really if he has like a move like Thunder Punch. Most likely not though, right? We might be okay just going for the Waterfall attack right here. As he does only show us Flare Blitz, that's still enough. Wow, Blaziken's powerful. <laughs> I can see why this thing was at Ubers at one point. Hey, Black, good game. Jonah, good game. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I will get you guys this rental code right now. Alrighty, so here is the team that we just used. This team is very fun. We do have a little bit of a problem with hazards once they get up, as you guys seen. We were eating those stealth frogs, eating those toxic spikes like it's nothing. But using these mines, I really did have a fun time with this team. Um, so guys, if you guys really want to try this team out, I would greatly appreciate you guys trying it out and giving me some feedback in the comment section down below. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. This is Wi-Fi Nairman signing out. Peace.